A lot of us don't do well in large groups of people and so on, and, and there has been a lot with, I don't have it myself, but I know there's other guys in the group that have PTSD and so on, and they, they don't do well in, in uh, the traditional work space. So this allows us to work more individual and be productive in a focused area that we choose. For a lot of people, it's a second call to serve. You know, their, their time in the military has or will soon end, and uh, this is another way for them to serve their, their local communities and give back to the community that they live in. Farmer Veteran Coalition is a nationwide program, and we have about 15,000 veterans in it now in every state in the country, and Vermont is one of the states that has an organized chapter. We've been having a training session uh, hosted here at Sterling College. It's a nationwide program that's called Arm to Farm, and it's a free training program for veterans who are interested in agriculture so they can learn a little bit more about different aspects of agriculture, including the business side of it. And it's all done through an organization called the National Center for Appropriate Technology. We've done everything from vegetables to maple to the small dairy that we went to today that you know, he milks 30-something cows and bottles and makes cheese himself. Basically, it's been a well-rounded week of a little bit of everything. It's a combination of both classroom training and hands-on experience here at Sterling College at their farm as well as site visits to farmers in the local area uh, so they can experience what an actual farm looks like and how it's how it's done and get their hands dirty and and get right out there and be a part of it. We had uh, an overwhelming response for the applications. We had more than 50 people applied. Uh, there's 25 spots in the class so the class is completely full which is great and it's people from all over the Northeast and we had applicants from as far away as Texas and Idaho. It's, it's a good way to network and get to know people from different areas and see different ideas. Um, we actually had one member of the group come to Kelly and I and ask us about potentially a certain product that maybe we could make that he uses all the time is something we hadn't even thought about doing. These are primarily people who are, will be first generation farmers or have just started being farmers and so they get more experience and more information and and just learn about what they're getting themselves into so they're prepared to have a successful second career uh, in agriculture now that they've served our country as a soldier, airman, sailor, marine. Now they're going to serve our country again as a farmer providing food for our nation.